What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be your review for Growing Up Hip Hop Season 5, Episode 16. This ain't going to take long because this episode didn't really give me a whole lot. So, we are back down in Jamaica. Uh, Egypt is there. Tyron is there. TT is there. TT's boyfriend, I think Sean is there and her mama is there. And Egypt feels like that she was ganged up on. Well, she sort of was, but here's my thing about this, y'all. I'm not getting ready to sit here and rehash that whole conversation. You know why? Because they ain't say nothing we haven't already heard. Egypt feel the way she feel. Pep feel the way she feel. TT and Tyron feel the way they feel. And the mama is just actually going over the information that she may or may not have heard. Now, what I was irritated about with TT was, TT, I feel like you did not definitively, declaratively say... I did not walk in front of that boy naked and I don't and I'm offended that y'all would think I did that because you said it in your confessional but when y'all were at the table you still left some gray area there at least the way it was edited let me say that and Egypt walked away feeling like you still walked around Sam naked now let me say this Miss Egypt even if the story went the way you said the story went that still does not mean that the that the girl was trying to turn the boy on sound like she went, took a shower, she forgot to bring her towel, and she was trying to hurry up and run from the bathroom to the bedroom before anybody saw her because she didn't have a towel. That does not sound to me like she's trying to seduce your man. If she were trying to seduce your man, you know, she would have seductively walked past him, accidentally let her towel drop, you know, picked it up while bending over slowly. Like, that's something that is enticing. Me... Coming out the bathroom, looking left, looking right, and running to my bedroom naked, that means I forgot to bring my damn towel, and there is nothing in here but a washcloth, and that won't cover a nipple. That is what that was. So I'm not going to sit here and keep going back and forth. And Pep, you know, you doing this for a show, because you're not going to sit here and tell me that you don't understand how ridiculous you sound. You've got to know how ridiculous y'all sound. So I'm not going to get here, sit here and just rehash that whole thing out. But suffice to say... They had the whole conversation. The mama even said that she thinks that um, Egypt is insecure and jealous. And Egypt ended up yelling at Pep because Pep wouldn't shut up. Now, mind you, Pep was on the phone because Egypt said, well, I'm calling my mother because I feel like y'all are ganging up on me. And so I'm going to call my mother so that I feel like I had somebody in my, on my, in my court. And I 100% understand that. That makes a lot of sense to me. But at the end of the day, girl, bye. Just bye. And I said what I said last week, and I'm going to keep saying that. Egypt is going to stay with Sam until she decides not to be with Sam. And the more y'all push, the, the, the more she's going to pull away. And what's going to end up happening is y'all are going to force her to stay with Sam longer because she's going to feel like she's got a whole lot of I told you so's coming or a whole lot of um, um, she's got to deal with you know, deal with the whole I told you so situation. Now, Pep did say something very interesting. She said, we've all been in bad relationships or we've all been in relationships that we knew weren't up to par. And I'm thinking to myself, so are you, in your own little way, are you conceding the fact that this relationship is not great and that it is not up to par? That's sort of how I took that. I don't know if that's how you took it. That's sort of how I took it. Anyway. But I feel like Pep knows that the relationship is some shit. But I think Pep also knows who she is and how she is and her personality. And the more you tell somebody no, the more she they, they're going to say yes. And that just is what it is. Now, back in L.A., we have Vanessa meeting up with Angela. Vanessa is opening up about her struggles with weight loss. And... I 100% understand, because I'm going to be honest with you, watching the show, I have noticed that she picked up weight. Now, I'll be the last person to fat shame anybody, and by my standard, the woman is not fat, but by her standard, she is. And something I had to learn about weight is everybody has their normal. When she got on the scale, and that scale said 177, child, if I was 177, I'd be doing backflips. But her reality ain't my reality. She's always been a small woman. She's always probably been 120, 130, so for her to be 170... It's, she's thicker than a snicker. Now, everybody around her is telling her, you're fine, you look good, you're fine, you look good. But it's all about yourself. And that's what she said. She said, I have lost confidence. And I'm in an industry, I mean, she's an actress. I'm in an industry where weight loss can be my downfall. It can cost me my career. I mean, she already doing B-list movies, so, I mean. Um, she said, but the, the thing I do love is that she said Mike, that's her boyfriend, Mike, I'm um, He told her she looked good. 
she don't need to change nothing for her and that she 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 doing a damn thing so for that i could definitely um appreciate that part of it but angela said hey let's do a weight loss journey together we can start a text message group we can support each other blah 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 and then of course she did what angela always does the man came in to do her makeup she got preoccupied with that when when the sister stepped on the scale and shared how much she weighed um, she didn't want to step on the scale, tell myself, I don't live by numbers, I don't live by numbers, and Vanessa was like, well, there's, you know, there goes solidarity, you know, sometimes if you agree to do something with somebody, you agreed to help her in her weight loss journey and help her because she said it's about confidence. I understand you maybe not wanting the number to be on the show, but step on the scale, just tell the show you're not going to show your actual weight, you know, because I was actually surprised she showed her weight, to be honest with you, but, you know, so she opened up about that. Um, over to New York, we have Boogie still in town. You know, Dame to put him ass out the apartment. He's having um, a little hanging out a little bit with JoJo. Then they went to this real cute tea shop where they got to mix up their own tea concoctions, and they were different colors. It was like a tea store crossed with like a science experiment, and it was really cute the way they did it. And and I. To be honest with you, I don't go to New York regularly, but that looked like someplace I wouldn't mind hanging out if I went to New York. That sounded like something I wouldn't mind doing. It was cute. Anyway, so he's talking to JoJo, and JoJo's telling him, look, I know you and your brother, I mean, you and your father's relationship is different. I know your father, he said your father got a lot of ego, but at the end of the day, he's your father. And he said, you know, me and my dad didn't always get along. We just recently, the last couple of years got back to a good place, and both of us just had to apologize and move on, and Boogie was like, yeah, but my dad ain't gonna never apologize, Boogie, you probably right, but what JoJo was saying was, listen, you know, your dad, he's got this court situation, he may actually end up going to jail, and the next time you see your dad might be the last time you see your dad, like, or the last time you saw him might be the last time, he said, look, just be the bigger person, go support him, go to court, be there with him, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know who your dad is, and what jojo said was he said you know i'll be here to support him when he going through trouble but when things are good and we're in a good place don't look for me i'm not gonna be here for you and i can understand that because he's like look i i just can't keep doing this with my dad he did end up going to court and when dame went to court he ended up getting arrested and being sent to queens because he had warrants there so the girlfriend and the lawyers were getting in the car to go down to the other courtroom the court other courthouse where he was being sent to so they could go figure out what was going on down there boogie was like deuces y'all let me know how that work out for y'all and she was like what are you doing boogie like we're all family why are you not going to come down he was like look i came to the court i supported him i ain't say i was going to be running all over new york trying to figure out what he doing where he going how he getting there like i i didn't sign up for that so back in la Twist is working on new music. He's going to have a birthday party. It's going to be a pajama party um, theme. And, of course, he's inviting everybody. Brianna and Egypt and um, um, Sam. Well, Egypt is still in Jamaica. So, whenever Egypt get back from Jamaica, child. So, you know, and Twist, you know, they all in the studio together. So, then they start talking to Bow Wow about him and Angela. I'm not entertaining that shit. They keep doing this Bow Wow Angela thing, Bow Wow Angela thing. Listen, either they're going to date or they're not. I'm not every week gonna sit here and have that conversation about what Bow Wow and Angela are doing. I'm not doing it. They have a whole another scene with JoJo and Angela. And again, the whole conversation is about whether Angela and JoJo are gonna date. I mean and um Bow Wow are gonna date. I'm not get, I'm not doing it. We did that with Romeo. I'm not doing it with, with Bow Wow now. I'm not So then we see Lil Easy go meet up with um, Sam, and they have a conversation, and he invites, you know, he tells Sam, look, you know, Bree's going to be at the birthday party, so just, you know, just be on your P's and your Q's, because actually, I think he ended up inviting Sam to the birthday party. I don't know if Twist invited Sam or not, but neither here nor there. Sam talking about something, well, he got some beef with Twist, because he didn't appreciate some of the stuff Twist said last season, because basically Twist was saying that, um that he did feel like Sam was riding Egypt's coattails. 
and that you know he was only he was using Egypt. So of course Sam like, yeah, we got something we got to talk about. I I I need to have some conversation with him. Child, boo, and bye. Nobody worried about you, and nobody scared of you. Last but not least, we are back to Jamaica. The family is still arguing. Egypt is still feeling defensive. Pep's still yelling from L.A. with the gavel that ain't nobody paying attention to. And T.T. finally says, you know what? At the end of the day, I really don't care anymore. I have my own situation that I'm dealing with. I have my own surprise I got going on. And y'all keep doing what y'all keep doing. And I'll keep doing what I keep doing. And Egypt was like, what you talking about? What surprise you have? T.T. stands up, and immediately when T.T. stands up, Pep sees that T.T. is pregnant. I knew T.T. was pregnant. They kept hinting around at it last week. I knew the woman was pregnant. But she's pregnant. Come to find out, she's nine months pregnant, which means that she knew she was pregnant when they were filming the first half of this. Um, or at least I feel like, because, I mean, nine months. Then again, I don't know how long they, I don't know how long ago they filmed this shit, so let me not say that. But anyway, she's, like, when they showed her in real time, like, she's literally getting ready to drop. She is nine months pregnant. Um, I mean, eight months pregnant, excuse me. So, um, Egypt's immediate response is, well, congratulations. I'm happy for TT, you know, but I hope that now we can really be a family and she can support me like I'm going to support her. But I really feel like TT has let me down as a cousin, as a sister. Egypt, get off your shit. Everybody, at the end of the day, all of this was done to help you. Um, whether you see it or not, whether you like it or not, whether you appreciate it or not, you and Sam might end up being together for the rest of your life and ride off into the sunset. Or you might realize in two or three years from now that everybody was right. That's up to you, but it's whatever. I'm done. This episode, I'm done with it. Peace.